Caitlin, it was an easy game. Yes, it was an easy victory for us, convincing that normally if we are if we are watching uh, uh, our strength on one side and weaknesses of our opponent on the other side, I would say that that's normal. It's always something to learn and the greatest thing to see was that in the last quarter uh, all the Dutch guys were playing and they did pretty well. Are you satisfied about spe specifically the Dutch guys? Yes, yes I am. I think that, that, that every club in this competition should really take care about uh, Dutch players because uh, Player, a team without Dutch players cannot be efficient. You cannot have only a team who will be based on, a, on American players or on a foreigners. So that, that's my goal too. I don't want to be a one who will play only with, uh, with the pro players who are very experienced. I want also that after me, uh, over here, that, uh, that there are some players uh, that the club can say, listen, these are players who were promoted by a coach and who started with him to play in first division because that's very important for continuation and this club didn't start with me and it's not finishing with me. I'm very satisfied with the things they are doing this season and I think that we have this season that we have some really interesting young players. Can we specifically mention Feenstra and Bauknecht? I think that two of them are giving a little bit more than the rest of the team. I think that the Bauknecht uh, used very well a situation in a club that we haven't been complete in the beginning, that he had a lot of playing time, and I think that his improvement is really visible uh, during a whole year. And, uh, and Abbas uh, now last, uh, last several games, I would say that he is giving more than he was giving in the beginning. I'm very satisfied how serious is he, I'm very satisfied how he's working, and of course if he will continue like that, he will, he will get more opportunities to play. Some people call him the Viking already. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like, like a little bit like that. He's a very silent, very, very. He's got a very good work ethic. Uh, for him, it was a little bit difficult because he was never, he was never playing in a, in a pro team. He was practicing only this year. Uh, he's a, he's a member of the team, and we are counting on him. He's our first rotation uh, on a power forward. And I'm very, I'm very satisfied how he's doing for the moment. So he's got the uh, courage from my side to continue. Martin Bauknecht, uh, goed gespeeld, dubbele cijfers, uh, twee driepunters. Uh, coach Keling zegt net dat vooral jij en Bas Veenstra uh, een goede vordering hebben gemaakt. En in jouw geval specifiek omdat je het seizoen zo belangrijk was voor de start. Hoe kijk je er zelf tegenaan? Ja, het is altijd goed om te horen. Ik vind het, is ook, uh, het geeft wel vertrouwen. Maar voor mij voelde het aan. Het was... Uh, Duidelijk dat er, dat er geen sponsor was dit jaar. Dus dat er een uh, minder team zou komen dan vorig jaar. En uh, nou ja, ik moest gewoon laten zien wat ik kon. En gewoon alles geven wat ik had. En ik denk dat ik dat gedaan heb. En ik ben blij dat het zo gegaan is. Ben je trots en tevreden op jezelf? Ik wil nooit tevreden zijn, maar ik ben wel blij dat ik het zo gedaan heb. Wat vind je, de laatste deel van het vierde kwart zijn het allemaal Nederlanders die spelen. En dat gaat best goed. Is het niveau dan ook anders dan met de Amerikanen? Ja, we denken dat we heel veel verschillende basketbal hebben. De Amerikanen die, uh, spelen vaak sneller dan wij doen. En uh, nou ja, ze zijn natuurlijk al wat langer in de basketbalwereld dan wij zitten. Dus ze hebben ook meer ervaring. Maar ja, het ging nog steeds goed. Ik heb jou nog niet gesproken na het feit dat we de bekerfinale gehad hebben, 29 maart. Uh, dat voelt ongetwijfeld lekker. Ja, dat voelt echt heerlijk. Echt uh, geweldig. Zeker ook omdat Leiden goede tegenstander was. En we moesten hier winnen omdat ze uit verloren hadden. Nou ja, het was gewoon geweldig en uh, we gaan er weer voor dit jaar. Nu even bijkomen en op naar donderdag. Zeker. Uh, we talked before the game and we talked about weird. Uh, this is something completely different than a game against Leiden, hè? Eh? A lot different. Um, it was, uh, I mean, credit to them, but it wasn't as competitive as, as the Leiden game was, of course. But I mean, they fought hard and uh, it was nice to have our young guys in there playing and giving the crowd something to cheer for. Exactly. You, you didn't get tired during the game uh, looking at the minutes because a lot of the Dutch guys got the chance in the fourth quarter. How, how do you look at that? I think, it's, I think it's unbelievable. I like to sit there and cheer my team on and watch and it's good and it'll help us down the stretch, you know, because sometimes we're going to need those guys to come in in important games, maybe five, ten minutes, whatever the case is, but we need them to be confident and ready to go as well, no matter what the case is. What do you think about Weert? Um, I think Weert is, uh, they're still here, you know, they, they, they didn't fold. They play things the right way. Um, they still have an organization, which is, you know, which is a plus in this league because teams are dropping out. Um, they, fought, they fought as hard as they could. Um, 
But like I said, they give it their all, and you know they play hard, and they, they're physical. They a lot of bumping on the screens and stuff, and that's, you can't ask for more than what they're doing. So I mean, hats off to them, and we hope that they, you know, I think they might shock some teams. Yes, well, we can say Ross Beckering, he's back. Yeah, it's nice to uh, get, get to win again, two two in a row. So we talked about the other plays, uh, just about the fact that all the Dutch guys did very well during the fourth quarter. Uh, how do you look at that? Yeah, it was just one of those games where we had a good lead, and um, it's nice for everyone to get some playing time. And I think everyone scored tonight. Everyone got on the scoreboard, so I think it's just good confidence builder for all the guys. And uh, I thought we handled, you know, the first half and the third quarter really professionally, and managed to get that good lead. So I think that's just uh, we did what we had to do. Now it's March. We're going up to the final of the cup and the playoffs again. Is the team ready? Yeah, I think it takes time. Still, I don't know. You never. 100% ready yet for the playoffs. We're building towards that, you know, where we want to go. And uh, we have six games left now in the competition, so we're just trying to make the most of it, you know. Our team was put together a little later than some of the other teams in the league. And I think just, uh, like I said, being professional and just making the most out of the minutes we have together on the court and in practice. So, See each other on uh, Thursday. Yeah, sounds good.